Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Abdul Jabbar and today I'm going to be sharing with you seven common problems in relationships. So sit back, relax and enjoy the session. So without wasting time, let me get into it. So the first pro uh, the first uh, co the first problem in in most of the relationship is usually uh, is usually brought about by insecurities. So insecurities is the first problem that most relationships have. So if your partner, uh, if your partner or you are, if your partner is insecure, uh, then this this is one of the problems that you uh, really come across in most of the relationships. So if you want to uh, be able to manage this, then this means your relationship will eventually fail. You will eventually fail. Anyway, uh, in insecurities are usually brought by about how someone feels for, feels about you. Also, it's usually a, uh, brought about by lack of trust. In someone um, to others is usually all about all about the instinct they they feel and the doubts that they have about the relationship. This is one of the uh, this is one of the most common problems in relationships. So if you if you have this problem, then if you come across this problem. Uh, I did a video about that and uh, I leave the link in the description so that you can check it out on how you can handle your partner's insecurities. So uh, these insecurities that your partner may have uh, can, end up, uh, can end up ruining your relationship if you have no idea on how to tackle them. So I leave the link in the description so that you can check that out. So then uh, the next problem, uh, the next problem in relationships is usually brought about the lack of trust. If uh, there's uh, if there's no trust in a relationship, the a relationship will eventually crash at one point. So this is one of the most common problems. Uh, do you know what? Uh, do you know why this you know, this uh, lack of trust is one of the common problems in relationship? The moment uh, you lack trust, the moment there's no trust in a relationship, the relationship uh, it will be hard for the relationship to survive, and uh, trust is something that takes a lot of time to be built, and it can be it can be broken within one second. So trust is usually takes takes time. It takes time. It takes time for someone to you love to build the trust, uh, to build the trust that you have between the two. So uh, most of, uh, this is a, uh, this is a common problem in most of relationships because uh, most of the people uh, what they do is that they they uh, they move too fast in relationships, and uh, another thing is that they don't. Uh, they are they are not honest about what they want from each other, and this is what uh, this is what about bring, uh, brings the issue of lack of trust. And also, it can be because of some past experiences. For instance, if your partner cheated on you once, it will reach a point that uh, uh, it will be hard for you to trust him or her, and this will be a problem. So uh, this is one of the most uh, this 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 is a, this is a, this this is a common problem in most of relationships. So if you know how to manage this, how to rebuild your trust in a relationship, then you'll be able to, to work things out. So another common problem in relationship is usually uh, is a lack is poor communication. It's poor communication between the two partners. So lack of communication or poor communication can uh, affect the relationship negatively. And this is one of the common problems. And uh, Lack of communication or poor communication in a relationship can lead to misunderstandings. So if there is no there is no way you guys can communicate appropriately, you can communicate uh, in a way that you'll be you'll be able to understand each other, then your relationship will eventually have a problem and it will crash. So this, uh, if you if you want to communicate effectively with your partner, this means you want to understand each other, and if you want to understand each other, this will lead to what? This will lead to conflicts, and that means your relationship will eventually fail. This is one of the uh, common problems in a relationship because uh, people are uh, people don't open up to each other. Uh, couples don't open up to each other, and this is one of the common problems that I have seen in many relationships. So, uh, if you have the, this problem, then you should find a way to to tackle this because there is no way your relationship can survive if you guys have poor communication. So the next problem in a uh, in most of the next problem in most of relationships is usually high high expectations. So uh, the moment you get in a relationship, I mean, or, or it can be that before you, you even get into that relationship, you expected your partner to be this way, 
and this way maybe you expected your partner to be rich maybe you expected your partner to be ambitious maybe you expected your partner to be someone who cares more about you someone who gives uh, someone who who gives you all his or her time and uh, maybe you thought uh, that's that is what you wanted and that is the main thing that brought you into that relationship the moment you find out that your partner is not ambitious or your partner is not uh, is not the person you thought he or she is then this will eventually end up uh, destroying your relationship this is one of the common problems so when you enter in a relationship and you have high expectations of uh, you expect so much from that person that you want to date and it ends up that that person is not who or she she uh, you, uh, is not who you thought he or she is this will eventually be a problem because there is no way that relationship is going uh, is going to be fulfilling for you there's no way you are going to be happy in that relationship because what you wanted to find in that relationship is not actually the same it's not what you what you uh, what you, you are getting right now in that relationship and this is one of the most common problems also it can be that you uh, you, you you thought uh, you thought that your relationship will be will be in a kind of way maybe let me say you you thought that your relationship would be perfect there will be no conflict there will be no any you won't be stressed out your partner will, is going to be taking care of you and you eventually expected so much from your partner and you end up finding that your partner uh, can't even offer half of what you expected from him or her this is going to be a problem and this one of the most uh, most common problems in relationships and this end up ends up uh, wrecking so many relationships so this is a co uh, this is a, this is a problem another problem in a, another common problem in relationship is usually about over dependency so your partner can be over dependent on you or you it can be that you are the one who is over dependent on your partner so if something like this uh, if something like this can affect your relationship very negatively so think about it so it, you can be over dependent uh, to your partner maybe emotionally and also it can be financially for instance emotionally for instance if you are over dependent on your partner emotionally this means that you expect your you you expect your partner to give you the kind of happiness that you want you expect so, so much from your partner you expect that he or she are supposed to be there for you to make you happy to make you smile each and every now and then and then if he or she has project that he or she has to do you uh, you expect him or her to be around you and so that and uh, if he or she is not around you then your day won't be amazing uh, it won't be amazing it won't be it won't be colorful the way you expect it to be so if you are over uh, if you are, you depend you depend so much on your partner for your emotional changes for you for you to be happy for you to feel that you are, your day is going to be amazing then this is uh, this is what we call over dependency you you depend on your partner for your happiness it's not bad to depend on your partner for for your happiness because you guys are dating you guys are connected romantically but there is a point that uh, you don't have to fully depend on your partner for this uh, for 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 this to happen you don't have to depend on your partner on everything yeah sometimes you have to pull yourself from your partner and also depend on yourself rely on yourself to make yourself happy you shouldn't expect your partner to to be the one always to make you happy because at one point or another your partner won't be around you and you will have to do it with some of the things on your own and this means you'll have to do it even if your partner is not around so you should not be over dependent or uh, on your emotionally dependent so on the part of emotionally dependency on your partner if you are too you you depend too much on your partner for your happiness then this is this is a problem and this is one of the common problems in relationships so you have to be emotionally independent you don't have to rely on your partner for him or her to make you happy another thing is financially financially uh, dependency for instance if you depend on your partner to to support you financially and you over depend maybe uh, over dependency you expect your partner to buy you expensive things you expect your, your partner to take you on expensive vacation you expect your partner to take you out on amazing restaurants you expect your partner to support your family financially and this if you if you if you don't do anything to change this then this means that you, you are uh, over you are over dependent you're over depending on your partner to, 
for him or her to support you financially. And this is one of the most common problems. And this is one of the sensitive, sensitive, sensitive things in relationships that most of most people are afraid to talk about because uh, it can make your partner end up feeling bad about uh, about uh, about what he or she she asked from you. So if you know that. Uh, you have this problem of you depending so much on your partner or your partner depends so much on you then you should find a way to fix that because there is no way you, that relationship is going to go far if your partner is over dependent on you so this, this is another common problem in relationships and you have to do so let's talk about another point here but before i share I'll share with you the next point here uh, if you like the video kindly hit the like button if you're new to my channel kindly subscribe so that we keep growing together so let's go to the next point here. X issues. X issues is another common problem. You know what? Your partner may be in a relationship with you, but at the same time, he or she still thinks about his or her ex. This is something. This this that one woman or this that one guy that your partner will never forget. He he or she will always uh, be stuck in the past because of that person. So ex issues is one of the common problems that most of the relationships encounter. So for instance, you, you might, uh, you might uh, find that uh, your partner is still having, is still in touch with his or her ex. Also, you may find that your partner still has pictures of his or her ex. You may find that your partner is still uh, talking, uh, still talking to his or her ex behind your back. This is some, this is some of the problems that you you, you may uh, you may you may come across in a in a relationship, and this this is one of the common problems in a relationship. So uh, you have to find a way to make your partner get over his or her ex, so that your relationship can go, can go on effectively the way you want it to be. But if you want to find a way to do that, then there is no way that relationship is going to last because uh, your partner may end up uh, going back to his or her ex, and um, the relationship will be destroyed. Or your ex or, or uh, your partner's ex might end up destroying the relationship so ex issues is one of the common problems in relationships so you should before you uh, you get yourself into a relationship or if you are in a relationship you have to find a way to tackle this for your relationship to try the next point that I want to be talking about here is toxic uh, toxic toxic toxicity toxicity yeah to toxicity so toxic relationships is also uh, to toxicity in, in relationships is also one of the common problems in most of relationships. Uh, this usually, I, I, I just put this at the last point because the moment you start dating someone, uh, you won't you won't see his or her true colors. But as time goes by, as the, the more you get to be comfortable around that person, the more you open up to that person. The more you guys connect is when you you get to find out, you get to know uh, if your partner is toxic or is someone who is uh, is all about maintaining a healthy relationship. So toxicity is one of these problems yeah, of, uh, of problems in relationship because toxicity can be defined in so many ways. It can, can be that your partner controls you, uh, controls every aspect of your life. He or she wants you to do uh, what he wants. Also, uh, what he or she wants. Also, it can be that your partner expects you to listen to him or her and uh, don't disobey him or her on anything that he asks you, he or she asks you to do. Also, it can be that uh, your partner uh, wants, uh, uh, your partner hurts you intentionally, maybe by physically or emotionally. This is, is also one of the things that uh, is is most is common in most of the relationships. The other thing is that your partner can be can be can be depriving you. Uh, maybe your partner belittles you. Your partner turns down your opinion. Your partner doesn't want to listen to you, but he or she wants you to listen to him or her. So this is another uh, common problem is in relationship. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the video, hit the like button and. Uh, uh, if you, you are new to my channel, subscribe to this channel and uh, so that you, you keep seeing more content like this. So uh, if you have any question, leave your comment in the comment section. And uh, before you go, there's another video that you should watch uh, on, on how to handle your partner's insecurities and uh, how to maintain a healthy relationship. Uh, you see them on the end screen there. So click those videos and uh, I'll see you in the next one.